After the grill has preheated to at least 500 degrees, brush the cooking grates clean. Close the lid and set up your grill for indirect cooking over medium heat by turning the front control knob to medium, the middle control knob off, and the top control knob to medium. Your grill setup should look like this. With indirect heat, the fire is off to one side or on both sides of the grill and the food sits over the unlit part. This method works best for larger foods that require longer cooking times. While the grill's temperature is falling to medium heat, prepare the chicken. Remove and discard the neck, giblets, and any excess fat. Drizzle olive oil all over the chicken and use a basting brush to distribute the oil evenly. Season inside and out with kosher salt and pepper. Truss the chicken legs using butcher's twine. Wrap a piece of twine under and around the drumsticks, cross it in the middle, and pull the ends to draw the drumsticks together. Tie a knot. Cut off any excess twine. Fold the wingtips behind the chicken's back. Place the chicken breast side up over indirect medium heat with the lit burners on either side of the chicken. Close the lid and grill for one and a quarter to one and a half hours. Open the lid and check to see if the chicken is done. Place the probe of the thermometer into the thickest part of the thigh, not touching the bone. The thermometer should read 170 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a thermometer, cut between the drumstick and thigh. The meat should no longer be pink at the bone. When fully cooked, transfer the chicken to a cutting board and let rest for about 10 minutes before cutting into serving pieces.